the cow. Please listen while I tell you now about a most fantastic cow. Miss Melky Daisy was her name, and when, aged seven months, she came to live with us, she did her best to look the same as all the rest. But Daisy, as we all could see, had some kind of deformity, a funny sort of bumpy lump on either side above the rump. Now, not so very long ago, these bumpy lumps began to grow, and three or maybe four months later, I stood there, an enthralled spectator, these bumpy lumps burst wide apart, and out there came, I crossed my heart, of all the wondrous, marvelous things, a pair of gold and silver wings, a cow with wings, a flying cow. I'd never seen one up to now. Oh, Daisy, dear, can this be true? She flapped her wings, and up she flew. Most gracefully, she climbed up high. She fairly whizzed across the sky. You should have seen her dive and swoop. She even did a loop-the-loop. -loop. Of course, almost immediately, her picture was on live TV, and millions came each day to stare. At Milky Daisy in the air, they shouted, Jeepers, creepers, wow, it really is a flying cow. They laughed and clapped and cheered and waved, and all of them were well behaved. Except for one quite horrid man who'd traveled from Afghanistan. This fellow standing in the crowd raised up his voice and yelled aloud, That silly cow! Hey, listen, Daisy, I think you're absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, Daisy heard quite clearly every single word. By gosh, she cried. What awful cheek! Who is this silly foreign freak? She dived and using all her power, she got to sixty miles an hour. Bomb's gone, she cried. Take that, she said, and dropped a cow pat on his head. The end. A little bit racist from Afghanistan. Everything seems to be a little bit racist.